afternoon from Shoreditch. I thought I always do travel vlogs, so why not do one on a day out in London? Jas and I are in Shoreditch today. We're on our way to the Van Gogh, did you just wave, sorry. We're on our way to the Van Gogh immersive art experience, which I've wanted to go to for the longest time. Have you? Yep, I have. I feel like it's been in London for about two years at this point. Um, so this is very exciting. I thought I'd take you with me. And this evening we're doing something just as exciting. So come spend the day in London with us. So this is Spitalfields Market all the way here. It is so busy in London today because it's such a nice and sunny day. And I think the experience is just here, isn't it, Jess? Yep. That one right. there. Here we are. with the lights shining down but these are some of Van Gogh's most famous paintings they're called the sunflowers so it's not necessarily like one canvas that you might see it's a series of different canvases in the collection uh, yes it says that there's 11 in total which can be found in galleries across the world and the most famous version is in the National Gallery in London. Here's a fun fact so I was a GCSE and an A-level art student and I found a vase very similar to that shape vase that's obviously in the famous painting. It was yellow and blue as well and I used to try and replicate this at home in my bedroom as a child. <laughs> so this is a representation of Van Gogh's bedroom just taking a selfie in Van Gogh's bedroom <laughs> and now everyone's doing the same thing. But this place is really cool, it's very, very fascinating and it's really clever the way it's done. It's probably not picking up all on camera but there's like multi multiple layers to this so it, it looks like you're actually looking through a door. I just think it's done in a really clever way. So you come downstairs and I think you can... Oh, you can do your own colouring, that's so cool. There's like so many on the walls that other people have done. Right, so you pick your painting from here. I've just gone for this one, Just has gone for a variety, and we're gonna get our color on, right? Yeah. And then you can put it on that little machine over there. You press the button, you can see it up on the big screen. It's really cool. This is gonna be so fun. I may have been an artist as a child, but as an adult, this confirms that I definitely am not. Oh, oh that's really cool. I like the teal hat. Yeah, they are. Yeah, vibrant, isn't it? Vibrant. Yeah, it is. Is that his skin that's green? <laughs> this one's really cool. Look at this one, the skull. Wait, did someone just draw that? Or was that like a painting that they coloured in? They must have drawn that. Some of these are like really, really good. But oh my God, it's so difficult to color in with crayons. It's actually awful, but there we go. I don't actually think this works because everyone's just left their paintings here. It's fine, mine was clearly a masterpiece, but they just don't want to show the rest of the world.
the uh, Van Gogh experience. It was good. I don't think it was amazing. I have quite a few thoughts on that, but now I feel like we're very close to Columbia Road Flower Market, you know, because everyone's walking around with like stunning flowers in like brown paper bags. I thought that was Sunday mornings only. Anyway, we're now heading for lunch. It's like almost 3 p.m. at a vegan restaurant that I found. It's literally like a one minute walk from here. But I'll come back to you with my thoughts on um, the experience. Here we are, literally a minute's walk away called Tofu Vegan. I've heard really good things on TikTok. So yeah, we're a bit short on time. So hopefully they've got a table and the, hopefully the food's also good. Oh my God, this menu looks epic. So I've just asked the guy what he recommends and we've gone for, he said that their fisk or fish is very popular, but I didn't fancy that. So I've gone for, well, we're sharing. So I've gone for the sizzling tofu in a house special sauce and Jas has gone for um, the Chong Queen chicken in a pile of fragrant chilies, and then just um, he said the wontons. So like, if he said if it's your first time here, you have to get the wontons. So we've done that, and then we've just gone for steamed rice. Oh, we've got our wontons. They look really good actually. I was sceptical about the wontons. The guy was right. Good decision. Well, so that they're really known for their sauces. That's what it is. I was thinking this would be one time, which I don't yeah. really like. It's just fried batter, isn't it? This isn't. So good. Yeah. It's just fresh on the inside of one. Isn't it? I'm gonna get one. I'll show you the inside. Mm. <laughs> oil, oil. Oh, this is good. It was quite a long wait. So this is the tofu in a house special sauce, and this looks spicy AF. Chicken with chili, vegan chicken, obviously. But you know, we ordered some spicy dishes. The chicken one is like ninety percent chilies, and they're really, really spicy. We eat spicy food, but that's just too much. That was so good. Clean plates all round. This was really nice, right? But I would never get it again because look at this. It was too dry for me. It was too dry. Too dry for me, that actually. It was dry. Um, the chicken was really nice, but I mean, just ate so many of these chilies. <laughs> I am literally dying. They've just given us a jug of water. <laughs> we had so many glasses, but I mean, the chicken was nice. Just far too many chilies. This was epic. Right, we're back in the car. We are on our way to our second experience of the day. It's really annoying that we have to drive. It's because there was a tube strike for the past couple of days and the knock-on effect has meant like park closures and stuff like that. So it's been a bit of a nightmare sort of driving to Shoreditch. Now we have to drive to South Ken, Old Brompton Road, um, that sort of way. We're doing a paint in the dark workshop, which sounds like, seems really cool, right? I hope it's like really fun. They did say, feel free to wear lightly soiled clothes. Oh, no. Yeah, um, but that should be really fun. Um, so our tickets for both experiences have been gifted by Fever, but I will give you my honest um, opinion on the Van Gogh immersive experience. I think people online sort of rave about everything and it's really hard to know like what is actually good and what isn't. So I've been looking forward to this um, experience for ages and I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, a lot more immersive, just a lot, better than it was like it was it was really good um and tickets cost anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds if you can get tickets for 15 pounds i think it's really good um it's worth it it's a really nice way to spend about an hour and a half um it's really interesting learning about van gogh and his life and his work and just seeing like it, it just just being there is really really cool I don't think it's worth £20. I think it's quite expensive. That's per adult. There's obviously child prices and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, what do you think? What did you think? Yeah, I think for the price, I think um, I think pay £20 put for it. I mean, it's okay. It's immersive. There was, some VR, there was another VR room. With VR. Oh, yeah, there Maybe is a separate VR yeah. bit that you can pay for, which we didn't. So, um, I don't know. Um, it was good. It just wasn't as good as it's hyped up to be. The other thing is... Um, make sure you go to the toilet before you go because we arrived and we're like oh we need to pee and she was like oh you need to go backwards through the exhibition and it's in the last room and the last room is essentially the immersive experience <laughs> which kind of ruined it a bit for us because we ended up going backwards through the gift shop hmm. 
through the immersive bit we kind of saw that and then we had to go all the way back round um, and see the other stuff so it's not ideal yeah i mean anyway we are now off to um paint in the dark armed with coffee we went to this random place called watch house their coffee is so nice i walked in and i was like oh my god please tell me it's not grind coffee because their logos are very similar and it's a pale pink they're like no we have our own blend um which i'm very glad about because i hate grind coffee this is so nice but um we need to go right yep Okay, so we're about to enter, but I don't actually know how much of this I'll be able to film because obviously it's in the dark, so let's see. So we've just walked in, Get to grab an apron from the front, it's really cool. Oh, you got us an apron, woohoo! Okay, paint on it or it's just part of the design? Hi, so I think that's my turn to speak now. How are you all doing this evening? Great. <laughs> it is ready to go with just the UV paint. You want to use a little bit of water with your UV paint at the very start. It's going to make it easier for you to paint, mixing in a little bit of water to make that paint get into the canvas. It goes straight into the canvas as it is. It will make your painting brighter and it will make it more true colour under regular light as well. I think I'm going to go for like a landscape design um, for that. We have a few limited colours which you then need to mix. Obviously like, you know, blue and yellow makes green for example. And you can just paint whatever you want and apparently the more wine you drink, the better you paint. But I shall be the judge of that at the end. What's your masterpiece meant to be, Jeff? That is meant to look like that. Hold on, no. It's not focusing. Yeah, it's this. A mushroom. That's what it's meant to look like and look what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. Um, it's really hard to blend UV paint. Shit. What have I just got? How did this just happen? Did it burn my face? No, I didn't think. Oh, believe it, you got some on your neck, yeah. A little bit. Oh, oh, yeah, tissue. I'll come back. <laughs> So good. Have you done this before by any chance? No. Oh really? <laughs> it looks really good. No. Oh, you look like such a pro. You. you meant to say this your first time? Yeah. No way. <laughs> She's lying, isn't she? Really? It can't be. That's like. I love that you've done two as well. Yeah, some people didn't show up. So this is what my painting looks like when the lights are off. I am not happy with it, but I'm a perfectionist. I've got paint all over my hands and on my handbag, which is a bit annoying, hopefully like. it's washable. Let's see yours. I mean, it does look like, you got the colours right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does, I can tell it's a lot of it. It's probably, but you know it was, I think I've done I'm not going to lie guys, I'm absolutely wasted. I had three glasses of wine because she didn't take my token off me, you get two tokens per person. That was epic. I'll show you my artwork in a minute, but when you walk out, to the toilets you're in this like bubble bar area which has got like free popcorn and like all this stuff but i don't really understand but i'll show you it's really cool we've got some like vintage pac-man thing loads of places to sit a sweets machine a bubble bar thing with like a ball pit that's the free popcorn that's the bar that's ping pong and then this is like some weird thing to sit on i don't know if it's part of the event or part of the, the event that's next door but i but I'm really drunk, so that's what I have to say. Just about to leave, but this is what I was saying. So the exhibition is called Dopamine Land, and I think it's like a different exhibition that's on next to the painting doodah that, we just, that we've just been to. Guys, we left the event. By the way, it was epic. Highly recommend it. Totally worth the 39 pounds. It was great. I'm really drunk. Like, you don't understand, I don't drink wine. I'm a lightweight as it is when I drink alcohol, <laughs> but when I drink wine, I'm even more of a lightweight. So Jas said I can't vlog. But, I'm. Um, oh, let me swap hands. You're gonna think I'm really weird, right? But I have this obsession what? with trying to do 10,000 steps every Saturday and Sunday because I just feel like at the weekend you have no excuse unless you've got something like, important going on. And yesterday I did like 11,000. Today I've done like eight and a half thousand because obviously we didn't get the tube and we drove so now I'm making Jas go for a very drunken walk down the street um I have no idea where we are but I need to <laughs> do 1500 more oh my god 
what? Yeah, years ago, right? I filmed a video on like wisteria in Kensington, oh, not yeah, Kennington, yeah, so and this is where it was. One of them. Obviously, it's not May, and there's no wisteria. See, even when I'm drunk, right, I've got a very good memory. Sumner Place Muse, there's like really pretty houses. If ever you want like really great photo back. shoot locations in London, muses are the way forward. Let's take you down here and have a look. Okay, I'm too drunk to be trying to do this straight. Anyway, so me and Jess are gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna hit my 10,000 steps and then I'm gonna go home. So I'm gonna end this video here. I bet you weren't expecting like a drunken Nishi to end this video, but <laughs> this is what you get. What you see is what you get with me. And the, so the tickets for this painting in the dark thing are 39 pound per person. You get two drinks tokens per person. So soft drinks, beer or wine. But for some reason I got three wines and that was enough to finish me off. Yeah, it definitely did. I think the first one finished you off actually. Don't know <laughs> we what got loads of free popcorn at the end. And that's basically our dinner. <laughs> Where are we? I don't know, I'm just following you actually. I can taste wine in my mouth, I need water. Is this blurry or is this my eyes? I don't know if I showed you my painting, this is what I did. I'm not very happy with it. Everyone said it was great. It's not. It's mm. not going up in my house, right? I'm not going to be famous anytime soon. But um, that's my painting I did. Loved that experience. It was epic. Can you um, tap this? And I hit 10,700 steps. Can they see it or is my eyes blurry? They can a little bit. And I hit 10,700 steps. Woohoo! Just stop it. Right, <laughs> now I'm going to go. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that I hit my mini goal. Sorry, I'm, so I'm trying to reach my bottle of water. Um, we're on our way home. I hit my 10,000 steps, my mini goal. Woo! I'm so drunk. Like, we ended up walking to Chelsea from South Ken. I don't know. I'm really drunk. Um, but this was a really good day. It was such a fun day out in London. Always nice to end on, like, a drunken high. Um, but painting in the dark was definitely the highlight it was so fun don't you think yeah i've enjoyed it epic anyway thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye